Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtie Media, and it feels like just last week I was mentioning how Monster Cat had its biggest release ever with the Alan Walker, Joe Jonas, and Julia Michaels track, but here we are just a week later with Give In To You by Rez and Virtual Riot featuring One True God. Huge collaboration. I believe this song is also released on uh, Hypnovision as well. It's half Hypnovision, half Monster Cat, and so uh, this is a huge release. Again, another big one. I don't know if it if, on name value alone, it's, if it bigger than the other one but in terms of the EDM scene and people that really really like electronic dance music uh, th this is the one this is the one right here so uh, without any further ado let's hop into it I'm really excited to give a first listen to this so uh yeah I'm uh, I'm intrigued to hear what we're gonna get from this I believe it's mid-tempo in genre which is more res style than virtual rides typically but uh, we'll see so here we go this is give in to you We're going fast here. Heavy mid tempo. Ooh, I love that growl. That first drop kind of came and went pretty quickly, I think. I'm intrigued to see what else we're going to get. Big grand. Great chorus. Okay, we're building even more. Love that smack. Okay, that's all we're getting. Okay. Dang, give in to you, Rez and Virtual Riot featuring one true god. Um, first reaction, I enjoyed the track. I think it's pretty fun. Um, I don't think this is like, this is the be all end all best that they've ever, ever done, both these two, but I really do enjoy this track. Um, First things first, I want to say it feels more like this feels like a more refined Rez track. I think over the years, I've been a little more critical of Rez for producing the kind of same sound a little bit over and over again and not really loving um, the the lack of uh, change, I would say, in some capacity and or at least switch up in, in any capacity, really. Um, and also just some some issues with uh, mixing and mastering in the end. But um, all of my issues are kind of gone with that. Um, this very much has the core Rez sound to it, but I'm um, sounds a lot more polished. I think the mixing and mastering sounds fantastic. Um, and I love the added little elements all throughout that feel more virtual riot to me that I don't know if, if that's necessarily him, um, but that feel like a little bit more like those deep growls and the little just like hits underneath these uh, big movements that uh, feel more like small, intricate, creative moments that um, would uh, remind me of a virtual riot track, something off of like simulation. And so... I think this is a really well-refined collaboration that worked really well. Um, I, I don't know if I hear a ton of Virtual Riot in this, like more so, like, sorry, not a ton, I should say. I, I wish there, there was a little bit more Virtual Riot sound, I think. Um, I would have loved a third movement that has the kind of big brooding dubstep sound that we're sort of used to know and love from Virtual Riot that has this like big crashing movement. Um, but on the other hand, I understand it. I understand that this is a more, 
more uh, stylistically like uh, like straightforward song. This is a more uh, well packaged, put together. Like this is like a real um, uh, like showcase portfolio style song, if that's the best way to put it. That um, isn't trying to absolutely blow away. It, it's kind of doing what they do best uh, in some capacity and keeping it to a pretty uh, yeah well refined part. Uh, just just making the best elements and not trying to stray too far from the norm. Uh, and so in terms of a res track, this is probably one of my favorite res tracks. Uh, honestly, I think in ever maybe like I really enjoy this a lot I think in terms of my appreciation appreciation for res I'm a huge fan of this um virtual riot again doesn't really sound a ton like his stuff that you would typically get but I I can hear his hand um all throughout scattered uh in whether the mix scene or anything like that or the small little elements here and there the kind of pre-chorus the lead-ins like I I can hear more of uh of what he brings to the table uh which I actually feel like I surprised uh, myself a little bit and how much I recognize um, his his touch over everything, his kind of golden touch, golden finger over things. So, um, my only tiny gripe, which isn't really a real gripe, uh, I'm not the hugest fan of One True God's vocals. They they feel like they're a little airy and like they're a little bit um, out of breath constantly. But I know that's just the stylistic tone that One True God goes for, and so I can't really um, discredit them for uh, <laughs> for those style of vocals. It's just not necessarily my preference and, and flavor. Um, but I do again, I, I think it matches up well sonically with the rest of the track and and where it's going. Um, yeah, the whole like tonally and atmospherically, but uh, it's just not my preference for the most part. So I uh, really solid track uh one that i really really enjoyed again as always i wish it was a little bit longer i wish it had the third movement but again this is a really well defined well put together uh track that works really well also both on monster cat and hypnovision so uh but yeah i'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this track in the comment section below what did you think of give in to you by res and virtual riot i'd love to hear any and all thoughts in the comment section below but other than that i'm dakota from Rotime media and i'll see you guys in another video